see me because it's like I don't know too much bright light. <sighs> anyway, Merry Christmas, guys! It is Christmas Day, and I thought it was. You still can't see me. Is that better? I thought, right, I, I'm gonna do this in the lounge. Got myself some books, fizz. Got me cream bag jumper on. Look, it's Ickle Pug. This was originally Jessica's. I painted it off her. It's an old one. She don't wear it anymore, but I thought I'd try and get into the festive spirit no matter what. Um, right, so, yeah, it's Christmas Day. I hope you all have had some amazing presents. And I hope so far Christmas Day has been rocking for you. Uh, obviously, when I got up this morning, which was just after 8 o'clock, I was greeted by Miss Jasmine. Patting me on the face, say, come on, woman, wake up, I want my breakfast. And I've got a present for you downstairs. So I go downstairs, and yep, she's left me a present, all right, in the hall. She's decided, and this is one thing that I have been planning to do for a while, is completely strip the wallpaper off the walls in the hallway, because she rips at it with her claws. And she's left me a great big pile of wallpaper that she's ripped off the wall. So that is something definitely I'm going to be doing. Rip the whole wallpaper off, and, and just, like, I'm just going to paint in there, and then... Mm, let's see a stick of claws in that afterwards. Uh, Jessica finally rolled back in about half past ten this morning, so much for nine o'clock. So yeah, she came back, then we opened our presents, which I will show you shortly what I've had for Christmas. And then I made this bacon and mushroom sandwich. She poured us a glass of Brooks Fizz, which we made ourselves. And I'm a little bit disappointed because the orange juice that I bought was not orange juice. It's more like an orange squash. But who cares? It's still got alcohol in it, so always oh, good. Oh, Jasmine! Look at you! <laughs> now that little bit of video I've just shown you is one of the Christmas presents that Jessica got. For Jasmine. <laughs> oh my god, didn't she look so cute? She hated this forum. Um I think I've shown you these before, but I bought those for Jasmine for Christmas. And off Jessica, I mean it's quite good actually because um Poundland yesterday was selling everything off Christmas wise for 50p. So um she picked up one of these and she's just got her eyes on this. Yeah, get it, Jazz, get it, get it. See, she does move. When she can be bothered. As well as that, this is um, full of things. And it's oh, it's such a cute little stocking. It Santa, I've been perfect. So, in there, she bought a two different kind of cat present stocking things. They've both got, like, little gifts in their eyes. So wide right now. Because one of the things... That was in, I think it was this one. She loves the jingles. Jingles, jingles, baba. Um, there's catnip in that. I can't smell nothing. But she obviously can, so I'm going to give that back to her. Yeah, and that'll keep happy. And it's just like little gift things. I know you got some balls. Some soft toys that she won't bark with, but she might surprise us, and she might. And then this one as well, which is also... Got basically the same kind of things in. <laughs> I just got a squeaky toy in that one. And, and oh my god. I think she's going to like that one. Is that Baba? She likes that. She actually seems to be liking that. I haven't opened it yet. I think there's uh, another toy in there. I don't know. I'll wait till Jess gets back and we'll open it properly for Batian. So she had those two stocking things. She had the jingly. Cat teaser. She's got Santa Claus on it as well. And the PS de Resistance, which is what you saw her wearing. It's this little Santa Claus thing. I think this is more for dogs. I'm not sure. But I don't care. Just bought it and we put it on her and it just she just looks so flipping adorable, guys. Totally made up. Everything that I got just for Christmas, she was absolutely bumming over. Um, I, I guess right. She she loves everything to do with pugs and everything. Like, like I said, everything I got her, she loved. So I'm happy about that. So um, 
the next thing I'm going to do is, is show you what I've had for Christmas. Right, um, I was quite surprised they actually did get me something. Well, maybe it's because the ex went home and said, Mom, Mom, Dad, just to let you know, Sam's just told me she's got you something for Christmas. Maybe I think they've had to probably very, very quickly find something. Now, I've seen these in Asda, and I did, I mean, I'll like, get them one for myself. Anyway, so they've saved me a job. I mean, I have got a burner as it is, but it's, it's actually Jessica, so she can have hers back. And, well, now I've got this. It's from Yankee Candle. It's part of the own inspiration range. And it's a, a wax cube burner, and it comes with six sparkling cinema spice wax cubes, which are on there. I can't stand the scent of cinnamon, but the Christmassy, so I'm sure I can um, tolerate the scent for now. But if not, I've, I've already got some raspberry ones as well that I can burn on there as well. So that was from Jackie and Paul. Um, if you watched my Christmas Eve special vlog yesterday, you would have known that I, after umming and ahhing about whether to get Stuart's brother and his partner something for Christmas, which I did in the end, I'm, I'm now going to show you what they got me for Christmas. And to be perfectly honest, guys, I don't want to come across as being ungrateful, but I'm pissed off. I spent just under 20 quid for them both. And what they've got me, I well, to be honest, I wish I hadn't bothered now. And I wish they hadn't bothered because I do not use links. I don't like links. Yes, I'm probably being a bit snobby and mm, I don't really care because this, this is what I got from them for Christmas. It is a links to for one gift set with a body spray a body wash a shower puff and the wash bag i have to admit i do actually like the wash bag itself it is quite uh nice it opens up like that so you know i could probably use that as a bag as well you know like a clutch bag if i really wanted to I suppose i think i don't know but yeah it opens up like that and then you go sip at the top and within it you've got your puffy thing that you scrub your body with you got a can of Lynx body spray. And as well as that, you've also got the body wash. What does it smell like? I've forgotten what Lynx smells like. Just I don't I don't I don't buy it. It's not that bad. Mm. Now Lynx sets aren't exactly the most expensive, so I thought I shouldn't just assume that it was about five pounds. I'm going to say it was probably about five pounds. So, hmm, I wish I hadn't bothered now because otherwise I wouldn't have wasted my money. But I, I still hope that they like their gifts. I, I remember they still sat over there on that sofa. Uh, Jessica's actually gone out now for a couple of hours with her dad. They've gone to see a great nan in the care home. He's also picked up Connor, who I was not allowed in the house. I don't want to speak to him. I've wrote him a little card out. I hope he wasn't expecting anything for Christmas because I'm sorry. No, not no. I mean, it's not like he's got anybody else anything for Christmas now, is it? Some of you will probably think I'm very cold-hearted towards my son, but if you knew the situation, in case you didn't, one day I might go into a bit more depth about it. But for those of you that do know why I am the way towards my son, then hopefully you will understand. But, yeah, um, they've gone out for a bit, and while they're out, obviously I wanted to get this done. And then I can start cooking Christmas dinner, which I will show you the end results of let on need more wine sad it next thing in my pile are my memory foam slippers that i bought for myself i shall enjoy putting these on later on at the moment i am wearing my long brown boots if you can see them i don't i couldn't be bothered with getting dressed up i was going to get dressed up and then i thought what's the point i'm gonna be sat in the house now aren't i right the next thing in my pile is my little handbag that i bought myself from primark my little cup that I bought for myself from Poundland. My truffles that I also bought from Primark. She enjoys knacking on these at some point. Uh, this black top that I bought from Poundland, it was reduced to £3. I forgot to take a sticker off it. Oops, silly me. Now, for, now I know how much I paid for it. But it's really kind of cute. And as I said, it'd be nice to wear into the office once I'm back at work at my new job. And the last thing that I bought myself was this little heart cushion from Poundland from Primark and I believe I paid £3 or £4 for this, I don't know, I don't care. It's going on my bed. It's nice for me to snuggle up to. Um, I, I'm going to leave Jessica's presents to last because I wanted to show you what Stuart's bought me for Christmas. I'm just having a quick fight guys. I, I need it because they're lovely. I ain't going to deny that. 
my thoughts are exactly the same in regards to like last year when he bought me really expensive items for Christmas. Why couldn't he have done this for me when we were a couple? Or is it just simply a case I was trying to buy my infections, my feelings, my just me basically. I don't know. Okay, I got this perfume set from YSL. It is their black opium. It is their black opium nuit nuit blanche. Yeah. Within it we have an EDP, a mascara, and an eye pencil. And this can't have been cheap. Perhaps I know it wasn't cheap. I remember looking at this perfume just yeah, which is probably where he's got the idea from. And can I just firstly call say love the packaging? And I have to admit, he's obviously got it from the perfume company, perfume shop, wherever you want to put the even paid for them to be gift wrapped is the wrapping paper there. And this is the fancy gift bag that we come in as well, so I'll be keeping those coming handy for next year. And within it, as I said, we've got the perfume, you've got the eyeliner, and then you've got a mascara. And I'm going to attempt to get this perfume out again. I, I struggled earlier to get it out. It's just, oh, come on, thank you. That is such a lovely looking perfume bottle. All glittery. Oh god, it smells so nice as well. I'm gonna have a quick squirt. Oh my god, it smells just as nice as I remembered. Oh, that is heavenly. So, as I said, we got the perfume. Oh, this is gonna be interesting me trying to get this out without breaking my nail. Come on! Yeah. <laughs> right, that's the eyeliner. Waterproof eyeliner. Might have put that in the fridge, it seems to be. Look, I know that doesn't even move once that's on you. It just appears to be melting a bit. And then uh, volumising mascara. Just a box standard looking mascara one, to be perfectly honest. And uh, nothing fancy about that? No, not really. But, yeah. Um, there you go. That's the first thing I got off. Stuart. I feel a bit guilty now because I've only spent... £16.50 on these. What is the thought that counts? It shouldn't be how much you've spent. Simple as that, as far as I'm concerned. And the second thing that he bought me... Oh my goodness, guys, seriously, I don't know what to say. Yeah. From Pandora. Very pretty packaging. Been insulted by the fact that he's actually left the receipt in there. Congratulations if you purchase of your new Pandora jewellery. It doesn't actually state how much he spent. Ugh. And I've, I have thanked him for it. I have said, you know, I'm really grateful. It's really nice. really like it. It's brought me this absolutely gorgeous Pandora bracelet. I'll just attempt to take the cushion out. Oh, crap. Yeah, he's, he's, he's bought me a Pandora bracelet. Why couldn't he have bought me stuff like this when we were together? I don't understand. I never will understand. I like the box that it comes in. It's very cute. I mean, I, I'm not going to deny it. It's an absolutely lovely present but it doesn't change my feelings there is still nothing like that towards him maybe friends but i couldn't go back into a relationship with him just because he's bought me swanky fancy things for christmas i feel i like to buy myself stuff i'm not a materialistic person you know it just isn't me but um but for all the same and as i said um at least he knows that i i, I do like him very grateful I just wish he hadn't, because now I feel guilty. And now I'm going to show you what my daughter bought me for Christmas. And this is the thing I'm saying, is that she ain't spent that much money on me, but what she has got me means so much to me, because she's put a thought into it. She stopped and done what I've done with her. What do I? What does my daughter like? What What can I get her that I know that she likes, hence why? Anything to do with pugs, I got her. I mean, she loved that black little pug dog with the crown on it. Absolutely loved it. The little doggy with the, that was a candle that we, I wasn't sure if it's a pug or a terrier or whatever. She absolutely did. I mean, she said to me, you do know I won't be setting fire to this, Mum, because it's too nice for me to ruin and destroy. Uh, even my little can, um, lighter that I got her with the doggy on it. Loved it. And why? Because I'd put that much thought into it. And she's done the same with me. So, now I'm going to show you what she got for me. Is this the first thing that she got? Little bag in there. And what have we got? We have got the first thing that I opened was this little 
makeup sponge. It's got a cat on it. Oh, cute is that? It's just a little makeup sponge from Flutter. So I know that she got this from Superdrug. I don't care. I don't care whether it's a pound or whatever. I don't care. It's because she knows I like cats and that's cute. She got me some bath confetti as well from Flutter because she knows how much I love my baths. And she knows I like to have my little pampers and I can sprinkle from my bath to my bath and make it all pretty. She bought me a little lip balm from Flutter as well, which is strawberry flavour. Because she knows I like to look after my lips. She also got me some of their hand cream as well. I mean, I love their packaging. It's so cute. Really, really is cute. Then, she got me some nail varnish. She, she knows I love my nail varnish. She knows I like to paint my nails. As you can see, when I stuff them, this colour for Christmas Day today. A fuchsia purple kind of shade. Very, I won't say festive, but I can't like match the colour of the dress I was going to wear, but then I didn't bother wearing it, so... Yeah, so she picked me up these nail varnishes from Barry M. It says party inside. And they are gingerbread nail paints. No, I don't know. Let me just check. Hang on. I'm going to have to rip this open. I didn't want to. Ah, you've got icicle nail paint, which is obviously that one. And then you've got gingerbread nail paint, which is obviously that one. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to have a look at these properly. Oh, they're bigger than I thought. Ooh. I'm really impressed by these. Oh my god, these are so, so cute. That one's like all sparkly. <gasps> and then this one's like, like a bronzy colour. Oh, I can't wait to try these out. Them are so, so nice. Much love to my little daughter. Well, I say little. She's taller than me. Still bloody great for all the same. She got me these two palettes. From Barry M as well. This one is called their Champagnes and Champagne Dreams palette. It's got a bronzer, highlighter, and eyeshadows. And eyeshadow in it. I should say eyeshadows. That's what it looks like inside for a super luxurious look. Had a beautiful bronze tone, complements with subtle shimmery highlights, and then go nude and more intense with a choice of four highly pigmented eyeshadows. So ah, those must be the high eyeshadows. Obviously, that's the bronzer. Those must be the highlights. But you know what? At the same time, you could probably wear them as eyeshadows as well. And he's got a cute little mirror inside it as well. So, much love about that. And she also got me this one from Barry M. It's a smoking hot shadow and blush palette. Love the packaging for a start. I have to say in regards to both of them. And this is... What is this saying about words? But first of all, let's show you what it looks like inside. And it says, create a smoking hot look with these six smouldering eyeshadows and a hot peach blush. So, obviously, that's the blush. It looks quite red, but it's not, apparently. It looks really red, to be perfectly honest. And then you've got the eyeshadow here. And I am really, really looking forward to trying these out. I might have to do a little review and a makeup tutorial kind of thing at the same time. And show you guys and get your opinions and give you my opinions at the same time. Now, the one thing I did say to Jessica that I really, really wanted to just, you know, she says, what do you want for Christmas? I want some makeup for she's but I want some oval ones. And she couldn't get me the oval ones. So, um, to replace the eyeshadow brushes that she pinched off me, <laughs> um, she has bought me this Travel Essentials makeup brush set from Real Techniques. Bless her, lovely little cotton socks. We've got an essential foundation brush. And I have to admit, I... I I've already got one of their bare foundation brushes, but this one looks bigger than the one that I've got upstairs. So, I am kind of impressed with that. We've got a dome shadow brush, tapered design, smoothly shades and defined eyes for creams with cream of powdered shadows. And then you've also got a multitask brush, which is this one, uh, which is great for effortless application of powder blush and bronzer. As well as that, it has also got a panoramic case, dual carrier and stand. Keeps brushes organised on your counter all on the go. Also perfect for drying brushes upside down. I am really, really made up with that. I'm just my lovely daughter. What's she like? I adore her to bits. So, there you go, guys. Those are my Christmas presents. Very happy with what I've got. Apart from the linset. Honestly, I hope later on, because when J 
dress gets stripped off, shirt will pop back in and let Nisa the old hate the presents with him back to his mum's house. I hope when I open my presents I feel guilty. No, I really do. And uh, yeah, that's it for me now. I'm going to watch the rest of this Harry Potter film that's on the TV and then I better start prepping the veg for our Christmas dinner. And uh, as I said, I will come back and I will show you the end result of what I've created for Sunday dinner. For Christmas dinner, I should say. It must be getting to me. Fuck it, let's have some more. Oh, it's Christmas, I don't care. Feeling a bit tipsy. I'm going to go for now. I'll see you all back. I will see you all in a bit. Oh, bless chestnut has got to sleep. Catnip, we've still got her. She's stunned. How cute is she, guys? How cute is that, Bubba? Look at her, she's so fluffy. Right, I'm going to do one. I'll see you all in a bit. All right, bye-bye. Oh, guys, what can I say over dinner? I am a complete on autumn muppet. Sorry, but I was meant to show you guys the finished result of our Christmas dinner. And I was so excited about sitting down to eat it that I forgot to do so. Uh, oops. Uh, I mean, I can tell you what we had. Obviously, we had a, a, a turkey crown, which was really nice for a change. Normally, turkey is really, really dry, but this was actually kind of moist. Because I don't know if it was because it was butter-based or not. I don't know, but, you know. I did these roast potatoes, mashed potatoes. We had sprouts. You have to have sprouts at your Christmas dinner. And I went for these ones. I've seen empty packaging so that that's basically what it would have looked like except that they've got chestnuts and bacon and stilton and gore and soda. So it was like sprouts and melted cheese. Oh god, it was so nice and I don't normally like sprouts. So, yeah. Uh, we had sweet corn. We had pigs in blankets. We had Yorkshire puddings. And I can quite honestly say I'm, I'm, I am completely stuffed. I mean, I was thinking like maybe later on if we do get peckish, I can always get crackers and cheese out but it's coming up to seven o'clock and i'm like i can't see myself eating again so like jessica's already gone and got herself into bed last time i'd seen it it looked like she was in the purge she got this one of those cloth face masks on that a friend bought for christmas yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that so she's in the pit she's gonna go boxing day shopping tomorrow morning with her mate sammy and sammy's mom now they're going to very each or merry hill for either way they're going and I'm, I'm going boxing day shopping myself but i'm gonna catch the bus down to worcester I would have caught the train up to Birmingham, but there's no train services tomorrow, so so I'm going to race the bus. I've looked at the bus timetable, and it's basically a Sunday service, so if I go early enough, all should be good. And um, I just going to make sure that if I don't come back until at least 5, 6, I need to be on the 5.35 bus, because that's the last bus back from Worcester. If not, one will be walking, and that will be doing that, because that's like over 20 miles. So no, I'll be catching the bus and I just have to be quick, won't I? So, yeah, um, my apologies again for the fact that I didn't film Christmas dinner. I've got Christmas pudding over there ready to be cooked, so I don't think we'll be eating those either, but we can have them all the time. It's not the end of the world. But um, that's literally it for me for today, guys. Um, I have got so much clean up to do over there. I mean, I've just sat down for an hour because I wanted to watch the Doctor Who special. We always put Christmas special on for Doctor Who. We want us to watch that. There's now some come dancing Christmas special on the TV. I can't be doing with watching that. I don't like watching that. It's just not me. I say come dancing, strictly dancing. Whatever it's called, I don't want to watch it. So I thought, give me a chance to come and do this last bit of a catch up with you guys and come and conclude it. And then obviously we have to have time for the kitchen. I'm going to go and get my PJs on and my swanky new slippers on, take my makeup off and edit this video so you guys can watch it. As I've already stated, I'm going Boxing Day shopping tomorrow, so keep your eyes peeled for a Boxing Day shopping haul. I know I shouldn't be going out spending money, especially as the fact, you know, I haven't actually got a job anymore, but I've checked my bank accounts and I've come to the conclusion that as long as I spend no more, then £80 tomorrow, all will be good. Now, it seems everything will basically be half price anyway. You know, maybe I won't actually spend that much money. Maybe I probably will, but, you know. <sighs> I, you know. It's Boxing Day. You have to go shopping, guys. And I'm making up for years that I didn't go. Oh, I forgot to mention, we had the eggs coming back earlier. Uh, well, basically, what it was, as you would have heard earlier, um... 
We picked Jessica up to go and see his nan in the care home. We also had Connor. We went to the care home. I think they were there for about half an hour. Connor, Connor just acted like a complete and utter nose from the minute he got there. He was laughing and taking the mickey out of the old people that were in there. You know, these people have got dementia. They're old. And he just thought it was funny to take the mickey out of them. That made Jessica angry. Then he wouldn't even speak to his great nan. It just got to the point where Jessica was like, I, I, I can't, I can't not be here with him. Can you take me home, Dad? So he's brought her back home. Then obviously he's gone back to Connor's for a bit. Turned up back here just before five, just before six o'clock. You know, we we had literally just sat down and finished eating. So <clears throat> you know, I, I admit, yes, I wasn't exactly the most talkative of people. To be perfectly honest. After eating all that I did, all the only thing I wanted to do was roll home to sleep. We went off in a strop anyway, as per usual. And then I got a text about half an hour ago saying thank you for the present I got him. Apparently he did like it. I don't know if he's been sincere or not or what. I don't know. To be honest, I don't care. So, um, yeah. My son is a nurse. That's all I'm going to say, guys. Right. That's hiding up over there is calling me. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas Day, guys. I hope you've all had a lovely, lovely day. And I will be back tomorrow with my Boxing Day shopping haul. So until then, bye-bye for now.